welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. So for today's video, I'm going to be bringing you my second episode of my Halloween series. Today, I'll be demonstrating how I created this really colourful clown makeup look. Now, I love this look so much and you can pretty much create this using eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, eyeliners, mascaras, anything that you currently already have in your makeup drawer, you can definitely create this look out from. So I really look forward to sharing how I create this look for you guys. And if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to smash a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this series as it pans out over the next week. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial because it's a fun one. Let's go. So first up, I'm using these little hair clips which I picked up from Amazon to keep my hair up and away from my face. Following this, I'm taking the Wet n Wild foundation and applying a light layer all over my face just to create a nice base ready to apply the rest of the makeup. Here I am just brushing my eyebrows up into place. Next up, I'm taking the Roxaurus Color Burst palette and taking these three colors here to create a nice smoky, colorful, bright eyeshadow look. This is super fun to create and really easy to do as well. is to really smoke out those colours and blend them together to make them just look really really fun. I'm now taking a bigger brush just to blend and smoke those colours all around my eyes just to blend it out really nicely and just add a nice smoky fused kind of colour and effect. And then for my lips, I'm taking this black liquid matte lipstick, which I believe is from Amazon, and I'm just applying this all over my lips. To create that wide clown-like smile, I'm taking this smaller brush and then the same lipstick as before and just accentuating, I think that's a word, accentuating, widening my smile into this creepy clown type of vibe. Like that. Ta-da! I'm now taking this Huda Beauty eyeliner double duo pen type of thing because the liquid lipstick wasn't working so well and we're just creating two circles to replicate cheeks. Next up we're taking this Morphe palette by Jaclyn Hill and we're taking this black shade in the corner there just to create some contour around our face just to add a little bit of texture, a little bit of shape to this creepy clown look. We're now going to take some face paint. Now I'm using face paint because it's very easy to remove. So if you do make any mistakes, it's a lot more easier to kind of take off in comparison to eyeliner. And I'm just drawing on two triangles above and below my eyes. Now what's a clown without a red nose? I'm taking this Roxaurus palette as before and using that red shade in the bottom corner just to create a nice red shiny nose. Using the same palette, we're taking this white shade in the corner there and we're just going to use this to kind of add a nice shiny effect to the nose and cheeks to make it look a little bit more sort of plastic. For my eyes, I'm using this Lash Domination Mascara by Bare Minerals and then this actually comes in a duo set, so I'm using this on the top and bottom lashes. To complete this look, I'm going back in with that Roxaurus palette and that gorgeous white shade and I'm just outlining those triangles around my eyes and then I'm also creating some kind of like eyelash effect around my eyes just to really accentuate the eyes and just make it a little bit more detailed. So the last little step you can do is take the clips out, style your hair, I've gone a bit lazy on this one and just kept the curls that I already had, but you can literally create this look in many different ways, different outfits, different hairstyles, the look is totally yours. So that is it, we have reached the end of this makeup tutorial, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching, um, yeah let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this look, I feel like this is super fun, really easy to recreate and I just love it so much, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So that's all from me, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video, bye!